Got another exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is number 12 in the electropotentials playlist. So it covers drawing a cell diagram, calculating a cell potential, oxidizing and reducing agents, and predicting a cell reaction. Question suitable for all of the major exam boards. And I hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please think about subscribing. It really helps me out. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video. If you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So first thing I'm going to do is draw this cell diagram for systems one and three. So I've gone for the iron three, iron two on the left hand side. It doesn't matter which way around you do them. So we need a solution of iron three plus iron two plus in there. We need a platinum electrode and then a wire going round through a voltmeter to the other half cell. So this is the zinc solid uh, dipping into a zinc two plus solution. And don't forget your salt bridge as well. And it must go into the solutions. Standard conditions, 298 Kelvin, one mole per decimeter cubed for your solutions and 100 kilopascals of pressure. To work out the standard cell potential, we just take the most positive standard electrode potential and subtract from that the least positive. So it's coming out at 1.53 volts. Moving on to part B, so I've just copied the table again to save me going backwards and forwards. So the strongest reducing agent, well, what's a reducing agent? It's an electron donor. So the reducing agents are all on this side of these half equations. And the strongest one is going to be the one that gives up its electrons most readily. So it's the most negative one. So that means it's zinc. Moving on to the strongest oxidizing agent. So an oxidizing agent is an electron acceptor. So these are all on the left hand side of these half equations and the strongest one is the one with the most positive standard electrode potential. So in this case it's going to be the MnO4- minus along with the H plus ion. And moving on to the last part, so we've got to come up with the overall equation for the predicted reaction between systems 2 and 4. So we need to look at the relative sizes of the electrode potentials. You can see number fours is the most positive. So what that means is its equation will run forwards and therefore the other one has to go backwards. And the other thing I need to point out is the number of electrons. So we've got to get them the same so they'll cancel out when, they, when we add the two half equations together. So you can see we've got two in this one or five in this one. So we're going to multiply system uh, 2 by 5 and system 4 by 2. So there's the sum of those two equations there. So the next thing we need to do before we can write the final equation is look for common species left and right. And you can see we've got 16 H pluses on the left and we've got 10 on the right. So we're going to be left with 6 on the left and H2O is another common substance. We've got 5 on the left. We've got eight on the right, so we're going to end up with three on the right. So the overall equation looks like that. 